Hi everyone. So in this project I have a couple of specs. Already I'm running the application and now let me run all the specs just like I would run on CI. So npx cypress run. There are four spec files. Now the broken one is really broken. It throws an error, there are no tests. And then a couple of specs that actually work correctly. And the last spec with viewport also has one failing test. After each spec, Cypress saves a video. So we have half of the specs with a video that shows something useful like a failing test and a couple of specs where a video is showing successful test. If you store videos yourself, you're probably asking yourself, why do I need those videos for successful specs? Now I do want to usually store those videos because then if a test fails, I can go back and compare the failed video to the last successful run and see where they diverge. But let's say that you want to only upload and store videos for the failing tests. How would you do that? Okay, so in my config file, I'll do the following. I'll register after spec event callback and you get a spec and you get results. And let's just look at both. So spec object, results object. And let's run it again. Now I do want you that Cypress right now has a bug that if you register this plugin or like no, this callback several times after spec and some plugins might register under the hood, then only one will be called. So yeah, you'll have to figure it out. Okay, so the first spec that fails has the following information after the spec finishes. The information about the spec itself, right? The file name and everything, the stats. And so when the spec throws an error for in this case, Cypress creates like a synthetic test. So there is one synthetic test and one failure. And then we have successful tests and they don't have any failures and they don't have any skip tests. For example, if before hook fails, then Cypress will skip all the remaining tests because the before hook failed. So if we have any skipped or failed test, we would consider this spec failed. Okay, so what do we do now? Well, we have to say if we have video generated, right? If we use disabled videos, there's no point in doing anything about the video files because there are no video files. Now we can say if result stats failures or result stats skipped test, then, you know, the spec has failed. Spec. Okay, else we want to delete the video. And so to delete, I'll use import unlink sync from FS module file system. And I don't have no types, that's why it's complaining. But what we can do here, we can say unlink sync and results video gives us the name of a video files like this one. Let's see if we can find like right here. Okay, the video. So we want to delete this and we probably want to say deleting video. Okay, let's see if this works. And before that, let me show the current files. So ls minus lr cypress videos, right? So right now we have all one, two, three, four videos because one is in subfolder. And now let's run Cypress again. Okay, so the broken one, the video finished processing, and we said keeping the video for the fail spec. And for successful spec, we're deleting it. Okay, and now let's look again at all the files, and we only have two video files remaining. You can find this tip and the source code in the linked blog post with Cypress tips and tricks that I'll put in the description of this video.